Bonjour, mes amis. Welcome to the Monday video. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I've kind of been neglecting you guys. I'm super sorry about that. I haven't really had a space to uh, record in that's actually been kind of quiet. And please excuse the background noise the fans are going because it's Southern California and it's disgustingly hot. Um, so I do have a couple of questions here. Not that many this week, but that's totally cool. I hope you guys will find some courage next week and ask me those questions you've been burning to ask. Any questions, all right, I promise. So from In Lucis Absentium, which is a Rasputin blog, and you should certainly go and follow. Uh, it's run by Chrissy, who is made of awesome and is one of my adopted sisters. What are the top two or three musicians or albums you've been listening to lately? And what was the last book you read? So the top two or three musicians that I've been listening to lately, I want to say the Eagles of Death Metal, certainly. Um, Hair Off Stellar. And maybe Delta Ray. Pretty fantastic, kind of bluesy, southern gothic, Delta Ray. Um, Pair of Stellar is Swing House or Electro Swing. Uh, and then Eagles of Death Metal are, well, they try to be like the Eagles of Death Metal. They're pretty fantastic. They blend kind of like classic rock, bluesy guitar riffs with uh, clean, precise death metal drumming, which is fantastic. Uh, and the last book that I read, um, I'm slightly ashamed to admit that the last book that I read, I'm sitting right by my, uh, my bookshelf here, is Deck Z, The Titanic. Balthazar absolutely loathes me for having sunk to a low where in which I would include zombies in the Titanic. He hates the Titanic. I mean, check the headcanon to see why, but long story short, he had a charge on that boat, and things went badly, you know, it's a whole hot mess. But including zombies, kind of like adding insult to injury. Really good book, though. Shockingly good book. I was very startled. I think it was like six bucks on Amazon. Pretty fantastic book for like only six bucks. Okay. And next question from the Book of Sands awesome blog run by the ever awesome Dana, who is another one of my adopted siblings. Um, Balth's right hand man is a demon. Is Andre a special case or is Balth more lax about demons than some of his angelic brethren? That's a really good question. Now, Andre and Marie are a special case in everything. Marie is a vampirist. Um, Andre is a demon. Essentially, what happened with them was uh, Marie was turned by a rogue vampire, and Andre sold his soul to spend the rest of eternity by her because he did not realize that she would be able to turn him as well. He wasn't thinking very clearly. He just kind of, like, jumped on the first crossroads deal he could come up with, and Balthazar kind of burned his contract and then, like, dragged him back out of the pit and was, like, Oh, he was furious. He was furious. He was livid. It was a whole hot mess. Whole hot mess. Now, the reason that they're such a special case is because Balthazar knew them before the transition into these other than human beings. So for most demons, he's not generally going to be like, hey, let's be friends, guys. He's going to take more of like a reserved approach. Hmm. Hey. So, child of my older brother, Lucifer, how are you? How are you? I mean, he's generally pretty okay with them as long as they're not doing anything like human trafficking. He'll kill you. Slowly. Painfully. You'll wish that you never had that idea. Terrible choice. Terrible choice. Or hurting kids. If he finds out that you're doing either one of those, like, no. I mean, adults? Go freaking nuts. I mean, they're grown-ups. They really should have known better. If someone comes along promising you the deal of a lifetime, all you got to do is give them your soul. Ooh, yeah. Should have thought of that. But kids, kids don't know any better. Kids are dumb. They make stupid mistakes. Balthazar loves kids. He will shiv anyone who hurts babies. It's a problem. Like, no. Um, and human trafficking is like a real issue that he is just absolutely furious about. Um, sex trafficking, that's another big issue. 
you tend to find demons in these kind of situations where human beings are kind of used as currency or as a um, as a product. And I actually have a really great thread going with Government Hooker Colson, which is a Phil Colson blog, where in which Balthazar kind of like broke down like why a demon would get involved with human trafficking and why he would break that up and what it kind of looks like if you keep the human body alive while the soul is taken out. And it's just, uh, it's an issue that's very near and dear to his heart. And he's broken up quite a few human trafficking rings. Um, sadly, those are all of the questions that I have. Hmm. So better luck next week. Maybe more questions. And in the meantime, feel free to come into my ask box at any point. Say what's up. I'm never too bored. You can stay on anonymous if you like. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys. Have a great night. Happy Monday.